Hello YouTube, I'm Donuts Over here, and today we're going to be playing a game of Zombie World Order by Bandai. I got the daughter sitting across from me, we've got our own custom made decks, and we're going to, well, do a battle for everybody and see who comes out on top. Alright, so we've already previously shuffled, we're just going to cut. To start the game you draw seven cards. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Uh, we can look at the hand now, see if we want to mulligan anything. I'm not going to mulligan. I will. Okay. Now as she's mulliganing, I'll explain the game mat. You've got your deck zone up here where my deck is. Your dead area, which is essentially the discard pile. Your undead area, which is your frontline attackers, and your splattered area which is also an area that you can attack, and then your magic area. That's where you play your resources. In this game, all these characters that we play, all these zombies, they have essentially two life. When they get attacked in the undead area, they move to the splattered area. And if they're still in the splattered area and they get attacked again, they move to the dead area. There's ways to bring them back from the splattered area. Every character has two costs, and we'll, we'll go over that when we uh, start playing. All right, so rock, paper, scissors, see who goes first. Rock, rock paper, paper, scissors, scissors shoot. shoot. Rock, rock, paper, scissors, scissors shoot. shoot. All right, so it looks like the daughter will start. First player does not draw a card, and they have to play their resource face down. Now, that's one of the interesting mechanics to this game. If you want to play the spells or whatever, and, or certain abilities, they require you to flip face up magic face down. And there are abilities in the game that allow you to take your face down magics and flip them up. So that's all she can do for her turn. Yippee. Yeah, I get to play my first card face up as I am the second player. And have the potential to attack me. Yep. I will play my green and blue, which for a resource counts as both a green and blue, but this is a green-blue hybrid creature, legendary Yokozuna mech zombie. And he will be my resource, contributing a, his blue side, resting him. Play a battle monger, which is a one-cost blue character with two... Attack power and zero critical. You deal critical to your opponent's life. That's how you get their damage to go down. Sorry. And yeah, we have a, but yeah, we each start at 10. Uh, he's got a skill. It's active and it's a free timing. It says place three cards from my, dock, my deck into my dead zone. And he gains plus three until the end of turn. And it can only be done once per turn. So he can go from a two to a five on the defense if I need him to. Or All on right. the offense. Or on the offense as well, yep. Anything to mill my deck, because this deck is a mill-heavy deck. Alright, that's all I can do. Pass to you. I could attack, but it wouldn't do any critical damage, so it doesn't matter. Play one green Kionchi. Tap two. And when summoning something, you only need one of the color, if it's a solid color. But if you're bringing into play a green-blue hybrid, like if I were to play this guy, I have to tap both a green energy and a blue energy. It's not either or. Yep. You've got to spend both. I will tap two mana for a Samurai General, which is two power, one critical. It has Amplify, which means when this zombie inflicts damage to your opponent's life, flip over the same number of your face down magic. And if I have three zombies or more, this zombie has plus five power. So that's, uh, there are three colors, as I explained in a previous video, and they each have their own keywords. Uh, green is Amplify, and that's if they do a critical damage, they can unflip their magic. Red has Corrode, which is when it attacks and defeats a zombie. It can still do damage over that. And blue is an Absorb keyword that allows you to actually heal when when a blue character, some blue characters that have the Absorb keyword. All right, you going to attack or no? I will attack one to you. All right, I have a ready character, so I can activate his skill. Which is mill three, making him a plus five. And because he has higher um, power, is it? Yep, than now me, I'm five to I my get two. pushed back to the splattered area. Yep, the two this, characters battle. The number right here is the um, revival cost. You can revive it, but you have to flip over your that mana. resource color to be able to bring it back. It yep. only has to be one color of the base color. All right, so is that your turn? Yep. My turn. So you draw, you stand. Now you can play a resource. I think I will... Hmm. Interesting, interesting. 
All right, I think I will play a head chef as a resource. He's a pretty beastly character. But... That's why he needs metal yep. longer to mill. Yep. Uh, it's a mill engine type tactic. But uh, anyhow, I'm going to play two and bring in to play my own copy of Samurai General. It's still just uh, two and does one damage with Amplify, which is not terrible. But I think we're going to do another fancy trick. We're going to mill with Battlemonger, placing him up to a five. And kill my Samurai General. And I general. will attack her Samurai General in the splattered area. My five to her two kills it dead. And my Samurai General will attack her directly for one. Now I could amplify, but I've got no face down magic, so it doesn't matter. It's like zombies. You usually have to hit them at least twice to kill them. Yeah. Alright, so. turn? Yep, my turn's over. Stand. Draw. Play Deadly Miki as a resource. And I will tap three magic to play in real. Uh, five power, one critical auto. When this zombie is summoned, inflict five damage to target opponent zombie. Nice. I will do five damage to Battlemonger. Okay. So that'll slide him back into the splattered area, taking more than his HP's allotment. And then I will attack Battlemonger. All right. I will trigger Battlemonger's skill. When uh when a when a zombie changes zones, any damage on it is erased. So I will pump my battlemonger up to a five, which ties Enreal, and that damages both, pushing Enreal back, and my battlemonger now has to go to the dead zone. And okay. that will end my turn. Alright, so I'll stand. Draw. Hmm. This is getting awkward. <laughs> so I think we are going to play a Master Ninja as a resource, and then hmm. and then I believe I'm have to pass. Okay. All right. So here we go. Sand. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, Draw. ten in my discard. That's good. Play. One. Play Image and Cola as a resource. And then spend four to actually play Image and Cola. Uh, seven power, two critical. It has Corrode, which when it inflicts damage to a opponent zombie in battle, it does its critical. And it has a permanent effect that zombie gains plus X power. The X equals the number of opponent zombies. So yeah, Image is pretty, pretty powerful. So I will do two to you. Yep, yeah, I'm not going to block because that would be just a waste of my Suicide. resource. Suicide. Yeah. And then I will do one to you. Hmm. I think I will. Kill yourself. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, I think I'll take the one. I need a seven. Haha. Uh -huh. Alright, my and turn. And this is an eight. Yeah, every time I play something, I get stronger. <laughs> so draw. Alright, we'll play a legendary Yokozuna. Then we will rest all four resources. Play a Master Ninja. Master Ninja's a seven two. And his ability is auto. When this zombie is played, I can flip down two green and search the top five. Oh, I guess I don't want to do that. I'll flip it down this guy. And I can search the top five of my deck and call to the field a level three or lower. Oh, it's one, two, Cost, three, not level. four, five. Hmm, that would give me Forgotten Diver or one with the Cherry Blossoms. Forgotten Diver's blue. Oh, yeah, but I have to grab a green, don't I? Mm-hmm. Yeah, Zombie Cost with a three or lower... Oh, no, it doesn't say green. From the top of your deck, from among the seven cards, cost with a three or lower. It doesn't say it has to be seven a green. Seven cards? No, that's five cards from the top of the deck and a three or lower. It doesn't give me a color. 
So I can't bring into play Forgotten Diver, sending the rest packing. Darn. And because I milled this uh, Ambush Soldier, it says when this card is placed into your dead area from your deck, you may pay one blue. If you do, add this card to your hand. So I can flip over this blue and add it to my hand. And then we can do... Having fun cheating? <laughs> hmm, let's see. I think we'll do Samurai General, which is now a 7. I'll attack your life points no. directly. It has to be three other. It, there are. So when zombies, if you control three zombies or more, oh, so I thought it had he's to be a seven. Three other. And I'm just going to attack your life points directly so I can flip up one of my magic anyway. Is that your turn? I believe it will be, yes. Stand. Draw. And flip. All right, so with flipping a resource, you do not get to play one, but now you have access to that for spending for colors or whatever that you need to play. I will... No. Actually, no, I don't want to unflip. All right. I'm going to play and then play zombie fish. I have to flip over a green. Choose up to one green zombie card. With the cost of three or higher from your deck and reveal it, then add it to your hand. Afterwards, shuffle your deck. Okay. I will grab Amikashi. Okay. And then I will proceed to play Amikashi. Okay. The five cost in Behemoth, huh? Kinda, yeah. <laughs> um, it has seven power, two critical, amplify when the zombie inflicts damage to your opponent's life, flip over the same number of your face down magic. An auto effect when this zombie is summoned, place two cards from the top of your deck into your magic area at rest. Then add one card to your hand from your magic area. Mm -hmm. One. Wait, are they face up or face down? They're face up. Okay. You add them to your magic area and then you take one out. Yep. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I have to look at what they actually are. I'll take that one. Okay. Then I will. Two to you. No. Yeah, two to you. Okay, it'll drop me down to five. <sighs> That's not what I should have done. I should have attacked him, but never mind. Um, and then I will do one to you. Okay, well, that'll be blocked by Ninja. It's not in her packing. And that will end my turn. Okay. So let's stand. Draw. All right, we will unflip, and then um, yeah. So then I'll we'll put you so an interesting amount on there. Seven and three is ten. All right, so. I think I will just pay two for Rocket Man. Yippee. And when Rocket Man comes into play, uh, active main phase, places a zombie into your dead area. Injure a target opponent zombie with a cost of five or lower. I will Im injure Imogen Cole, sending her back to the splattered area. And then I will take... Alright, Imogen Cole's a 10 at the moment, right? Yep. 
All right, so my Forgotten Diver is going to attack Imogen Cole at 10, but it's an 8. Now I can play other cards. Is there anything you want to play? No. All right, well, I do have something I want to play. Is it the pluser? Zombie World Order, giving my guy plus 3. Meaning the mine's an 11. Out. Mine's an 11 to your 10. Oh. What? Okay. Can I still block? No, you decided what? to let it go. <sighs> so now Imogen's gone. I hate you. <laughs> All right, and then I think we will swing Samurai General directly, which is a 7. And with Amplify, allows me to flip up my face down card. And then attack with him. I don't want to. I want to leave him for a blocker. Oh, you're no fun. <laughs> All right, here you go. Stand. Draw. You know. No. Wait. You try to keep your resources on the table if you can. Yeah. Within view. Are they all? Yeah, they're good. I will flip Kionji. Okay. And then I will play another zombie fish. <laughs> All right. So you have to flip over a green, and then you can search for what? Uh, five or lower? Or three, three or, three or higher. Lower. Three, three or, or higher, higher green. Yep. All right. I can get anything I want. Grab a karate master. Okay. Cut. Decisions, decisions. Yeah. Can't kill you because you took my killer. Yeah. I will spend three for Karate Master. And then I will spend another three for Polluting Kawato. Ah, nice stoppage. Which, um, if this zombie is at rest, opponent zombies cannot attack the player. Corrode still does work. Mm hmm. But you have no more Corroders left, thank goodness. <laughs> So I will two to you. Mm. Two to me. Can't allow that to happen. I will play this free timing spell, flipping down two green. Japan's Island of the Dead, which plus fives all of my green zombies. And I will defend with Ninja Master, pushing your guy back. And then I will one to you. Yeah, that'll have to go through. I've got no blockers. That'll put me to four. And I'll end my turn. Okay. So stand. My power bonus no longer applies. <laughs> Draw. And I believe we will... Japan's only new for one turn. Yep. Hmm. Play an ambush soldier as resource. Then we will spend one. Oh, yucky. Yeah, what the heck? We'll go all five of them. One, two, three, four, and five. For my own other copy of the ambush soldier, it is a 10 beat stick. All right, so Ambush Soldier is a 10-2, so just really, really strong. It's What's going to effect? attack. No effect. It's just from the, oh, yeah, from the deck. The, okay. uh, to your Kawadi. Kawado. Oh. And I will let that go. Okay. 
Forgotten Diver also to the Kawadi. Okay, and that pushes them back. both. And let's see. Hmm. Yep, I gotta let it go to your turn. Down. Don't you love having a lot of mana? Yep. Draw. Flip the green. Six to play Tengu, uh, seven power, three critical, corrode. Um, when this zombie injures an opponent zombie in battle, inflict damage equal to the card's critical to your opponent's life. And it does have an effect, but it wouldn't work. But it is summon target face-up zombie with cost of 5 from your magic area. Yeah, that's no good. Oh boy. And then I will, because I can, revive... Which, yeah. And revive. Glup. Yes, glup. Then I will... Attack you directly. Hmm. Yep. Nothing I can do to stop that. Dropping me down to two. Attack you directly. Well, we'll block and push. Killing your guy off. Attack you directly. Okay. I think I'll block and push him as well. I'm gonna attack you directly game. Yeah. Nothing I can do with your corrode anyhow. Doing three damage. Wait. I'm going for fun attack him. Oh, uh, for fun attack him? Yep. Yeah. Well, okay. it doesn't matter. Your corrode is enough to finish the game off. Yay. But anyway, YouTube, this has been a game of a Zombie World Order. And that's uh, how you play and win. Yeah, play and win, yeah. Um, yeah, we really enjoy this game. It's a decent game. It's cheap if you can find it. Um, pick it up. Give it a shot. And... Tell us in the comments below what you think of it. And it's right. not made in China. It's made in Japan. Yeah. All right. This has been I'm Done It's Over and Daughter with another Family of Three segment. Um, yeah. Have a good day, YouTube. Bye.